Well, there we go, guys. Level 78 farming after a perfect farm run. How's it going? Welcome back to another video. Just wanted to record this right now because this guy here, Squeal the Fun Guy, is, uh, yeah, kind of being weird. <laughs> he said, e-date me, so, yeah, there we go. You're now on a video. I guess that's good enough for e-dating, right? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to record real quick to let you guys know what I'm planning on doing right now is going and obviously starting work on the Elder Logs and my collection. So until 91, we only have 86k. Oh my days. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty close. And yeah, I just want to start my collection to be honest because they're decent money. The only bad thing is the woodcutting urns don't fill up with Elder Logs. Kind of annoying, but either way, it'll be nice to make the money. So we now have around, I think, 150-ish, maybe 200 of these logs. And yeah, there we go. With that XP drop and that log, we have level 91 woodcutting. So it is definitely a lot slower doing the Elder Trees, but I'm just thinking of the money I'm making on the side. I mean, I've already got the pet, so all I'm going for purely is 99 and a bit of money on the side. So yeah, how much are these currently worth anyway? 5.4k, so... Yeah, we've probably got around a mil banked already, which is pretty decent to be honest, and we've only gone down, I think it was like 86k or something I showed you guys, so yeah, one mil every sort of 85k, that is not bad or nothing to complain about. Another day, another farming level, let's go ahead and grab this real quick, it should be, yeah, there we go, level 79, so let's go ahead and get these coconuts before that deadly snake it always comes and attacks me, where is it? There it is. But yeah, there we go, another level. Only one more day, I think, now, pretty much, until level 80, so that's going to be a nice milestone. I actually think farming is going to be one of my next 99s, to be honest. The Elder Trees definitely take a long time, but I've nearly got a collection of a thousand of them, so it is making me a decent amount of money, which I'll show you guys when I do hit a thousand. It'll be around 5.5 mil, so yeah, that'll be very nice indeed. But what I'm going to do, because it does take quite a long time, and I do want 99 as, not as quickly as possible, but a lot quicker than just doing Elders all the time, I'm going to do up to 1,000 in my collection, and then I'll go and do Ivy again, uh, just for the faster XP rates, because it's around 80k-ish an hour, and these are definitely nowhere near that. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Do 1,000 of the Elder Logs every single time I level up, and then just train the rest with the ivies until i get crystal trees because yeah it's just going to be a lot easier and a lot quicker for me but i'm also going to make some money on the side so by the time i get 99 it is going to be nice or 94 i should say i'll probably have around 20 to 25 mil banked in logs but yeah for right now that is just my plan but i will see you guys when i have hit a thousand so i'm going to keep this nice and short and sweet here are my thousand elder logs let's go ahead and price check these right now and it should be, like I said, around 5.5. Yeah, 5.5 mil. So there's definitely a very nice addition to the bank. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to keep collecting them. So now I am moving on to Ivy's. So I just got the message through somewhere up here. Okay, there's too much talking in the FC to find out where it is. But we just got a lamp, which should get us our Slayer level. I tried to record me getting the level earlier on, but we were unsuccessful let's just say that so it's kind of embarrassing but either way there we go guys for level 48 slayer closing in now on level 50 so that's gonna be a nice milestone for definite so we are finally getting 92 wood cutting which is cool i'm just chilling right now with wood fire and i don't know who this person is they've just come along but there we go and bazooka as well so yeah, there we go guys, level 92, halfway to 99. But yeah, now that that's done, I'm gonna start working towards 92 cooking again. And there's also a couple of levels like here and there, just odd ones that I do want to get out of the way and work on. I have a thieving dummy in the bank and look how close I am to level 10 XP. That's been killing me for a long time. So yeah, just a couple of levels here and there that I do wanna get. And also we will be grabbing ourselves 80 farming today as well. So a couple of things coming up this weekend is the skiller weekend which means double XP in Artisan, so that will definitely help out towards the invention requirement. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do this weekend. Just try and get level 80, only 10 levels to go, so it shouldn't be too bad. So I got myself the reindeer mount, which is pretty cool, and I actually had a thieving dummy that I mentioned earlier on from my treasure hunter today. So yeah, it landed me on 29 thieving, and if you guys know me, you know that I like to have my stats all nice and clean all rounded up so yeah we're just working towards level 30 right now which i should be able to get on the next steal so that'll be pretty cool but yeah i mentioned briefly that this weekend is the skiller one my plan is of course to 
get 80 smithing. Nice, there we go, level 30. But yeah, if I do manage to get level 80 before the weekend is up, I'll go and train divination manually because the wisps are going to last longer and the enriched ones are going to be every 10 minutes, not 20. So it's actually going to be pretty decent, to be honest. But yeah, obviously, being a skiller, wanting invention, the best one to go for is the Bible for me. So it just makes sense. And also I can do divination with caches, which I do keep forgetting to do. Also, I just remembered because I just told you about the reindeer mounts, they did just release two free outfits, which are normally 360 coins. So we have the Drakewing one, which is actually pretty cool. I like that quite a lot. And the Deathless region one as well. So yeah, they're both pretty damn cool, to be honest. Kind of freaky, but yeah, two free outfits. So why not? And I also got myself a new teleport animation. Is it the spell one? There we go. The KGP teleport, where the penguin comes and pretty much knocks you out and then you get sucked through it looks so weird like <laughs> it just looks so strange but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and apply that so there we go new teleport and new outfits awesome sweet this is such an awesome thing for my skiller account even though i don't have much money right now but we just got ourselves some silverhawk boots from the present so i'm pretty sure everyone gets it let me just do it on my main account real quick and see if everyone does get these i don't know i already have them on my main so yeah i get silverhawk boots or spring cleaner or 25 silverhawk down and 25 untradeable springs so yeah if you already have them you get feathers and springs but if you don't you get one or the other which is or whichever one you don't have so yeah that's really cool we finally have some now and it saves me having to sort of wait for them i guess and just hope every day that i get them that's gonna be really useful in the future when i don't want to train agility very happy of that I know these aren't a ton of feathers, but I did have these, I just found them and remembered from when we were training with the burning embers, I got these as one of the rewards, so yeah. Damn, look at that untrimmed div cape right there, that is insane, but this one right here guys, this palm tree, is gonna get me level 80, there we go, finally level 80 farming, that is so cool, I just wanted to get that for this video, so I am extremely happy. Hey, congratulations, Bazooka. I just, I caught that firework right there. Either way, right now, I know I told you guys I was going to do a thousand Elder Logs every single time I got a woodcutting level, which I still will do, and I'm going to do it before I hit 93. But the smithing weekend that I'm going to be working on starts very, very shortly because it is Friday today. I just want to kind of make the most of the XP right now before the weekend starts because I'm going to be slamming out smithing all weekend. As soon as it goes live, I'm going to be there. So I just want to make the most of it, to be honest. And I'll work out how much XP you get from a thousand Elder Logs. And then hopefully on my thousandth log that I've cut, I will hit 93. That'll be really sweet if that worked out. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it all goes to plan because that'll be really cool. I know I've just been talking a lot in this video, so I am sorry about that, but hopefully you guys don't mind. I find the skiller account just really chill and we've actually achieved quite a lot of levels today, so I'm happy with it. And yeah, just <laughs> I do hope you guys enjoy it. I know a lot of you guys make skillers because of this series and that is honestly just really awesome to hear so hopefully your skill is going well let me know if you've made one if you've already had one just let me know and tell me your current goals or how it's doing i am honestly really interested i read through all my comments so yeah it'll definitely be seen and also one thing i just wanted to mention about invention oh, that that rhymed that was great um but yeah i do want to achieve that before i get 99 woodcutting because even though it's not going to give me that much xp i believe it's 378k for a tier 60 at level 12 siphon or level 10 and you just disassemble it but i'll be doing level 12 siphon you can be more efficient and do it every level 9 but it costs a lot more and it does get you more xp but for me honestly i don't have that much money for siphons so yeah it's going to be every level 12 for me i'm going to do it so 378k each time not too sure how long it's going to take to be honest because i've never done it on woodcutting before so yeah we'll just have to give it a try and see how it works out you do need level 22 to even augment it so it'll just give us a nice head start i'm trying to buy up some supplies right now the smithing weekend is going to be live any second now so yeah really really cool excited about it and to be honest, I'm going to be working at around 440k per hour until level 80 I put a target. We only have 1.2 mil, so it's only going to take me like 3 hours to get level 80. But look at this, right? 2268k. And in there, I have exactly 2268. That is crazy. 
I've changed my mind. I am going for Mithril Ore because the difference in price, especially for me, is just going to make a difference. I just looked up the difference in XP and it's 50k an hour, so it'll be a 100k difference per hour, which is quite a lot. So it is going to take a bit longer, but like I said, overall, to get level 80, it won't take long anyway. I've already met a couple of you guys here already, that's crazy. But yeah, we're actually rolling in level 75. It should be on the next XP drop. There we go. And there it is, level 75. Five to go now till my goal, which of course, like I said, I will probably be achieving today. So yeah, it feels pretty awesome to know that's coming in the first day. But yeah, I'm just gonna show everyone here. So got a couple of skillers, to be honest. It's actually really cool. Uh, three of you guys are skillers. We also have the archer. He watches my videos. Actually, four of you are skillers. Nice, we just got 100% respect, so yeah, let's go ahead and get our rewards. It's been a long time since I've done this, so do you have to go through all of these? I honestly don't know. I'm just going for all the ones that say you get even more experience. So, okay, the next one we want is Master Student, and we need 60%. So, yeah, it's double, so it's not going to take very long. On that note, that is the end of this video. Thank you all very much for watching. I will get level 80, obviously, today, but that'll be in the next one because, yeah, I want to make sure this video is completed and scheduled to go up for you guys because I am due to go out later on, which, of course, I will play on my laptop so I won't miss out on any games, but I can't record for you guys on there. Well, I can, but I don't have my microphone, so, yeah. It just makes it a lot easier to wrap things up here. Hopefully, in the next one, I will have actually hit or gotten near to 80 div as well. So that'll be two requirements towards invention, which will be very nice to get out of the way. Then we only have 10 levels in crafting, which really won't take very long. Yeah, thank you again, guys, for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Smash the thumbs up if you have. And like I said, let me know all about your skiller if you have one down below, your goals, everything like that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.